Hey there everyone, this is ID Jester. Welcome back to the Craps video tutorial series with our wonderful WinCraps program, which you can download at cloudcitysoftware.com. Highly recommend that you go check it out, download it for yourself, and play along at home as we do this. And if you keep using the product, please do register it. Uh, it is well worth the time and money that you will uh, get much more enjoyment out of the program. So, we've talked about the pass line and the don't pass line, and we talked about odds. Uh, one of the most difficult things for most people to understand that are new to crafts is the come and the don't come bar. We, uh, I covered that uh, in the introductory uh, video. Talked a little bit about the come and the don't come bar. You can see that they take up more space on the table than the pass line and the don't pass line. Um, so they're just as important to play. And the thing that most people don't understand is that these two spots basically work the exact same way as the pass line and the don't pass line other than that these spots will establish a different number than what the shooter is uh, shooting for. So the come and the don't come basically work the same way with the pass and don't pass line. Uh, you cannot bet on the come or the don't come bar until a number has already been established on the board. You can see I'm clicking with my mouse and it's not letting me do that. You can see obviously I can click on the uh, pass line or don't pass line and I can click on that. Don't come works the same way. So the come and the don't come basically uh, are only for once a number has been established then you can bet the come and the don't come bar. So what does this mean? Well it means several things. If you walk up to a craps table and you lay your money down and the dealer gives you some chips uh, and there's already been a number established on the board you can start getting in the game immediately by playing in the come and the don't come bar and you can also um, that's one way is immediately getting in the game and the second way of using the come and the don't come bar is that you can establish multiple points out here with odds that will get you uh, more victories, more winnings, if the roller shoots those numbers before they roll a seven. So as you remember, if we roll, uh, if we're betting on the pass line, uh, we get a number established, the puck will go on that number. Once we do that, we can kind of sit back and let the pass line work for us, or the don't pass line. But maybe we want to bet more money and more numbers coming up. Uh, because you notice when we were doing some of the videos, uh, if our number was a 6 and we rolled a 5 and an 8 and a 9 and another 5 and another 8, all those numbers that we had hit didn't do anything for us. Well, the come and the don't come bar will then allow us to get more numbers, uh, points uh, established with our odds so that we can get more results and more winnings back. The only uh, downfall to this is that you're going to be risking a lot more money instead of uh, $15 on the pass line or don't pass line. Uh, you might be risking uh, 30 or 60 or $75 depending on how many numbers you want to establish uh, with the uh, come and the don't come bar. So let's see how all this works together really quickly here and we'll go through this. First thing we're going to do, we're going to assume we walk up to a table, the puck is off, there's no numbers, so the only thing we can do is bet on the pass line. We're going to do that. Remember, 7 or 11 wins, 2, 3, 12 loses, anything else becomes our point. So we do that, we roll to 4. Remember now, we're going to put our odds behind the pass line for that, so we can bet up to, and um, we're going to assume this is a a um, 2x table or double odds table we can bet up to double what our original bet was so we can bet ten dollars if we bet five if we bet ten we could bet up to twenty dollars behind 
So in this case, uh, we can do double what our original bet was. So $5 to $10, $10 in odds. Now you'll notice that the point's been established. Um, if you had walked up to the table at this point, the only thing you can do is then bet on the come or the don't come or some of the other bets. You cannot bet on the pass line or don't pass line. You cannot do that. In fact, if you see, if I click on it with my mouse, oops, which I am doing, I actually moved my bet over there, but uh, you notice that uh, I can't bet on the pass or don't pass bar. The only thing I can do is bet on the come or don't come bar. So I'm going to bet $5 on the come bar. Now this bet is a totally different bet than our original bet. Okay, it works the exact same way as the pass line in that our come bet will win on a 7 or 11. It'll lose on a 2, 3, or 12. Anything else, and what the dealers would do is move our bet up to that number. And we then have another number that we can win or lose on. So in this case, our point is 4 for our pass line bet, because that's what the uh, shooter had rolled. We bet, we put our odds, and now we place a $5 come bet, and it's a brand new bet, just like a brand new pass line bet. 7 or 11 wins, 2, 3, 12 loses, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10 will establish a new number for us. So let's see what happens. And we rolled a 7. Okay, so this is interesting because this is going to show you how this come bet can actually help you um, relieve some of your bets originally. Because if we wouldn't have had this come bet, we'd have lost our $15 and we'd be done. But because we had our come bet, our come bet is 7 or 11 we win, 2, 3, 12 we lose. So our, our come bet wins five dollars for us so at this point we lost the original bet but we won our come bet so we compensated for some of our losses so we're going to take our bet and our winnings and we're going to start the process all over again we're back to square one notice puck is off we don't have any bets on the table back to square one pass line bet five dollars hoping for seven or eleven in this case we rolled a four we're going to put our 2x odds on the table behind our original bet, $10. We're going to place a $5 come bet. Again, the come bet is just like the pass line bet. We can only do when a number is established, though. So we have a number established. We can then bet the come. We're hoping for, um, we're hoping for a 4 for our original bet. Otherwise, our come bet will go to a different number. Let's see what happens here. Seven. Same thing that happened last time. We would have lost our original bet, which we did, but we compensated with winning our come bet. Let's hope we, we can try something different this time. So, starting the process all over again, pass line. $5 bet, 7 or 11 wins it. We can't bet come. We can't bet don't come. Why? Because... We don't have a point. There's nothing been established. We can't bet those. So the only thing we can bet when the puck is off, pass and don't pass. And here we go. Oh, 11. 7 or 11 is a winner, so we'll take our winnings. We'll keep our bet going. 5. Okay, we've established our point. We put our odds on behind the line here. Up to 2x. Now we're going to place a come bet again. Original bet, 9. Okay, so far only we've got a different result. So this is good. It's going to show us what happens. Now you notice the dealer is going to take our come bet. It's going to move it up to the 9. And now we have a number of 9 that we bet on. And also have the 5. So this bet down here represents our bet on the 5 and we now have a bet on the 9. We can do the same thing that we do down here in the pass line and that we can put double our odds on the table on the 9. So we work through the come and we've established a second number. So if the shooter rolls either a 5 or a 9, we win. If they roll a 7, 
we lose everything. So we, we're spreading our options out so more numbers gives us a better chance of winning by the seven will kill you know we'll lose a lot more money so let's see what happens I rolled a six in this case six is nothing we're betting on the five and we're betting on the nine. Oh, and here we do we got a nine now remember if we wouldn't have bet on the come the nine would have nothing to do with us the come bet is the five or I'm sorry the pass line bet is the five um, our come bet was the nine so we're gonna win our nine bet and we win it just like we would if it was the pass line bet we're gonna win even money one to one on our original bet and we're gonna win three to two on our odds bet so you notice at this point our money here from the nine has been removed we won that bet and now what we can do is place another five dollars on the come bar and we can get another number established and if we roll we get a six so now we have a five which is our original pass line bet and now we have a six and again we can put our odds down assuming this is a 2x table we'll put double our number normal odds so ten dollars down there and now we can win on a five and we can win on a six um, and we lose everything on a seven so let's hope for a five or six eight eight is nothing we've got nothing on the eight we got nothing on the four the nine nothing of that eight again seven up oh, there's the problem with this uh, is you can if the shooter doesn't roll any of your numbers you can lose both your bets at one time so we're going to try that one more time and this time we're going to uh, assume uh, the shooter uh, rolls the dice maybe we weren't ready or we didn't we weren't at the table yet and uh, they rolled a seven and another seven and third seven in a roll eight all right so maybe we walk up to the table now when we get our chips we already have our number been established all right now that the numbers been established we cannot bet on the pass or don't pass line you cannot bet those the only thing you can do is bet the come or the don't come bar so we're gonna bet the come and it works just like a pass line seven or eleven would win two three twelve loses in this case we rolled a nine so our number is a nine everybody else that was at the table already is betting on the eight because that's what the shooter originally rolled but we don't care about the eight we want the nine so we're gonna put our odds on the nine and we're gonna place another come bet and we're gonna shoot remember come bet just like the pass line seven or eleven wins two three twelve loses let's see what happens eight okay now uh, the original people that were at maybe at the table or ready or whatever that had bet the pass line they won and you notice the puck goes off and it moves over but we have just placed the eighth there because that's what we just had rolled we don't win because we hadn't played the pass line we had just played the come box so now we have our bets on the eight and our bets on the nine still I know that's kind of confusing for some people and um, when I did my uh, couple work parties when I was teaching people how to play craps and going through this the come and the don't come bar were very confusing for most people um, just think of them as a way to make extra bets on other numbers besides whatever the shooter is rolling for so in this case we're hoping for an eight and we're hoping for a nine before a seven comes out now it should be important and we hadn't I haven't mentioned this yet in the video tutorials I don't think the puck that goes from on and off represents a, goes over to whatever the number is but it also goes from off to on and that tells you whether or not your odds 
are off or if your odds are on, meaning the casino will pay you for your odds or the casino won't pay you for your odds. So in this case, the casino will not pay us for our odds because the puck is off. Once the number has been established and the puck is on, then the casino will start paying us for our odds. Remember, our odds are our backline bets, not the original bets. So our odds are our odds. We can actually delete our odds, but you notice when I hit the delete key, I cannot delete the original bet. I can delete the odds, but I cannot delete the original bet because that's a contract bet. You could not take that on or off anymore. The odds you can take on or off, and sometimes they'll be on and sometimes they'll be off. So in this case, they're off. The shooter is going to roll. We're hoping for an 8 or 9, and we're certainly not hoping for a 7. Unlike the pass line people who win on a 7 or 11 right now. So we're actually, and even though we're, sh we're hoping the shooter rolls lots of good numbers for us, we're actually not rooting for the same thing everybody else in the table is rooting for. We're rooting for an 8 or a 9. And everybody else on the table is probably playing the pass line or the don't pass line. And they're hoping for a 7 or 11. 7 for them wins. 7 for us loses. So let's see what happens. The shooter rolls and they roll a 6. Now this is a good example for us. So a 6 now, all the people that played the pass line or the don't pass line, they're hoping a 6 comes up. For us... We don't care about the 6 because we don't have the 6 as one of our numbers. We have the 8 and we have the 9. Notice now the puck is flipped over from off to on, which means that our odds are on, which means we can lose or win on the 8 and the 9 with our odds, and we can lose them on a 7. So we can win on, um, on the 8 or 9, or we can lose on the 7 and they're on. So let's see what happens. The shooter rolled. And he rolls a 7. So all the people that bet on the pass line lose. And we lose as well. So let's try that again. Because I know it's kind of confusing. Let's going to try this again. Um, the table's playing. And they've established a point. We walked up to the table. It already has a point established we can't play the pass line or don't pass line the only thing we can play is to come we put five dollars on the come again it's just like the pass line seven or eleven wins two three or twelve loses if anything else comes up that's our number our specific number that we care about and we roll and we get a nine so again we can play our odds on the nine now we're hoping a 9 comes up before 7. We're also going to play another comb. So we can have a second number to win us money. And it also acts just like a pass line. So on a 7 or 11 it wins. 2, 3, or 12 we lose. Uh, here we go. 5. So we got this 9 and the 5 again. Good combination. I like 9 and 5. I like the 4-10 combo and I like the 6-8. So whenever these two match up, that's always a good sign. Alright, so now we've got two numbers established. Um, the shooter just rolled his number, so notice the puck is off. Which means our odds are off. Which means we don't win on them, we don't lose on them. They just give them back to us. Alright, so here we go. And we rolled 11, which is nothing for us. We want a 5 or a 9. A 3, which is nothing for us. A 5. Ah, the shooter got our number. But remember, because our odds was off, we win our original bet. Those bets are always on. It's just our odds bets that are off. The odds bets are those additional bets we made. So we get 1 to 1 on our $5 uh, dollar bet. And then you'll notice our $10 was not working, not working, so they just give us our $10 back. We don't win 15 
they just give us our ten dollars back which is can be a good thing again we still have the nine playing the odds are now on we're gonna bet a five dollars on our come bet just like a pass line 711 wins 2312 loses and a shooter gets a five so again we got another good combo five nine so again we're hoping for a five or nine notice the puck went off because the pass line the shooter got his number again for the pass line winners so the puck goes off we don't have our odds are off but our original bets are still on seven which we lose our original bets on the five and we lose our original bets on the nine but our come bets um, wasn't working so we get those ten dollars back we get that money and we get our money back for the nine so we didn't win anything we didn't lose on those because the puck was off so again we're gonna go play the pass line this time we got a ten we're gonna put our odds down on the ten we're gonna place our come bet we now have the eight so we're looking for eight and a ten either one of these wins for us everything else is nothing seven loses it so we got more numbers on the board but in this case our shooter has sevened out again so that's like three shooters in a row that have uh, failed us let's hope we can get a good shooter here we're gonna try this one more time here come on shooter pass nine five dollar bet 7-eleven wins there's a winner for us all right, keep 7-11. Oh, good, another 7. Keep rolling new 7s. Oh, good, there's another winner. So as long as they keep rolling 7s, we're doing okay. Oh, look at that, four 7s in a row. Can he make it 5? Nope, he rolled a 12. Remember, 2, 3, 12 craps. We lose, so we've got to put our money back out there. 5, 5 is our number, 5 is our number. Now we're going to bet the come bar, and we're hoping to get another number out there so we can get two numbers working for us. And in this case, we have the six. So we have both the five, because we got the pass line, and we have the six. So both the five and the six are working for us. So we got two numbers that are working for us, and only one number working against us. Eight. Eight is nothing for us. 10 10 is also nothing for us come on shooter four four is nothing for us five there we go shooter hit our number good job payoff is one to one our original bet our original five dollar bet and then we have our three to two odds bet we bet 10 we win 15 all right so notice the puck goes off we still have this, but we still have our six. Uh, we still have our bet on the six. Remember, our odds are off, so we don't win or lose on our odds until until the puck goes back on. So we roll. We roll the three. Three loses our pass line. Seven or eleven is good. Two, three, twelve is a loser on the pass line. So we're going to play our pass line again. We got a four this time. Put our odds down. So now we got the four and the six. Come on, 46. 46. Eight. Eight is nothing for us. Looking for 46. Seven. Seven out. So we lose both our four and our six. All right. One more time. This time we're going to have a number already established. All right. So they got a nine. We just walk up to the table. There's already action going on we can't wait to get into it we can't wait to start playing so we get the uh put five dollars down on the come bet seven or eleven wins two three twelve loses four everything else becomes our number so we now have a four now we can stop there you don't have to bet anything else but we're going to assume we want to get two numbers on the board we want two numbers working for us and only one number working against us. So we're going to bet the come again. All right. Come on. Nine. Okay. So now we have two numbers working for us. Four and nine. 
We only have one number working against us, which is the dreaded 7. So we're looking for 49 this time. 49. Uh, 6, which is nothing. Again, we're looking for 4 or 9. I just call that 49 so I can keep track of it in my head. Six. Six is nothing for us, but it was a big cheer at the table because the uh, all the people that bet the pass line have just won. And But for us, we're working on the four and the nine. Now that the puck is off, this is a good time to mention this, um, there's nothing to keep us from betting the pass line. We can actually bet the pass line now. So we can actually have three numbers working in conjunction together. But again, the more numbers working together, the more times we'll win. But if that dreaded number comes up, uh, we can lose that. So we're going to try for three numbers. So just because we have other numbers up on the board doesn't mean we can't bet the pass line when it comes back off. The only time you can't bet the pass line or the don't pass line is when the puck is on. The puck is on, can't bet them. All right, so now we got that number, or we got that bet. Let's see what happens. 7 or 11 wins here. Uh, remember, this is off, so our, our odds are off on the 4 and the 9. So even if the 4 and the 9 come up, we don't win. If a 7 comes up, we don't lose those odds. Here we go. Oh, we got a 2, which kills our pass line. Remember, 2, 3, 12 kills us. 7 or 11 is good. Here we go. Five. Okay, so this is a great example for you. We've got three numbers working for us now. Four, five, and nine. We got the four and the nine through the come bar. And we got the five through the pass line. So we've got multiple numbers working for us, which is good. It gives us more chances to win if the roller can just keep rolling the good numbers. It gives us more chances to win. But of course, on the opposite side, you have that dreaded, you can lose them all in one shot. So it's kind of risky, but if you uh, can get a good roller and get lots of numbers, then you can win lots of money as well. So let's see what happens. We got an 8. 8 is one of the few numbers we don't have. So 8 does nothing for us. We want a 4, a 5, or a 9. Good way to remember that is to say 459. Come on, 459. Seven. Oh, killer. So we lost all three of our bets. All right, one more time from the pass line this time. I know this is confusing, but when you watch it over and over again, it makes a lot of sense. You'll be able to realize it right off the bat. Pass line. I can bet the pass line because the puck is off. I cannot bet the come or don't come. So the only thing I can bet is a pass or don't pass because the puck is off. We know that, right? So here we go. Seven's a winner. Seven, seven, a winner. Here we're going to go again. Seven or, seven or 11's a winner. Four. Four is our point. We're going to place a come bet. We're going to try and get another number on the board. It also acts just like the pass line. Seven or 11 wins. Two, three, 12 loses. Two. You notice we lost our come bet. So we need to place it again. And we get a 9. So we got a 4 from our pass line. We got a 9 from our come box. Notice whenever you bet the come, you're, you're unlike the pass line and the don't pass line that just sit in front of you. The dealers will take it and move it away from it. So you have to keep track of what numbers you had placed, what your bets are. So we got the nine. We're going to place one more. We're going to actually try to get three numbers established for us here. And here we go. Seven. Well, seven is going to do lots for us. We're going to lose our pass line. We're going to lose our nine, and we're going to win our come. So it does a lot of things for us. All right, one more time really fast here. Pass line. I'm going to try to hopefully... Uh, not cover as much stuff and just uh, let things fly a little faster so you can see this in action a little bit more than trying to slow down and talk about it. Pass line. Here we go. Four. Four is our number. We're going to bet a come. 
come, we got a five. Place our odds on the five. We're going to place a third come bet. Seven, we're going to lose our pass line bet. We're going to lose our five, but we win our come bet. So, wow. We've had some really, uh, you notice our, uh, we lost a lot of money here. And this is what happens when you start betting the come, is you're going to have multiple bets out there. And if these dreaded sevens come up, then you lose everything at once. One more time. Let's hope we can get a couple hits here. We're at uh, 203. Let's see if we can earn us a uh, few dollars here. So 7 or 11? Nope. We got a 4. So we're going to bet a come. Come loses on a 2 or 3 or 12. So we lose. Do the same thing. 5. So now we have the 4 on the pass line. We have the 5 uh, from the come. We're going to try for a third number here. Hopefully we'll get lucky. Four. All right. Well, we hit our pass line bet. So we earned five dollars on our five, uh, $5 bet, original $5 bet. And we earned two to one, which is going to earn us $20 on the two to one. But you notice our come bet goes up to the four because that's what happens. It goes to whatever number was rolled. So, no, so even though we just won our pass line bet, our come bet goes right up to the four. Remember, our odds are now off. We can play the pass line. We can don't play the pass line, whatever we want. But the only time we can do that is when the puck is off. And let's hope for a roll here. Six. All right, so we're going to place our odds on the six. We got our odds on the five. We're going to place our odds on the four. All of our odds are working now because the puck says on. We got the four, the five, and the six. So we got three numbers working for us. Any one of these numbers would be good. And unfortunately, it didn't happen. So that's the way it goes with the come when you start betting the come. Remember, the come is uh, a bet you can place only when the puck is on, when a number's been established. So it lets you get more numbers on the board. Um, you cannot pet you cannot bet on the pass line or the don't pass line once the puck is on. You have to wait for the puck to go off. Remember the difference between off and on? It tells you whether or not your odds bets are working if it's on or if they're not working when it's off. So that tells you whether or not you're gonna work earn your odds on these bets. I want to show you a winner, but I hate to keep dragging this out. So let's see if we can get a couple winners really quick. So we're going to try our pass line. Remember, we can bet that because we're off. Nine is our number. Bet a come. Four. Oop, oop, oop. Mouse got a little crazy there. Third time, let's see if we can get a third number here. Six. So we got 469. So we got all of our odds. We got our $5 original bets. We got our $10 in odds bets. A four, six, or a nine will win it. A 10 does nothing for us. A 10 does nothing for us. Come on, 469. A three does nothing for us. An eight, nothing. Nine, there's a front line winner. That's our pass bet. So one to one, we'll take that. And we won $15 for our $10 bet on the odds. Remember, we still have our four and six working for us. Our odds are off. There's a 10. So now we're looking for 460, 460, or 10 in this case. I always just call it a zero, 460. Eight, does nothing. Three, nothing. Seven out. So we hit one. We lost all three, so we're basically down two bets on that. Well, I've tried several times, but this is a good lesson to show you that uh, with the come and having multiple bets out at the same time, there is great return, but there is also great loss. So your bankroll your money can go down severely a lot faster with multiple bets out there if we would have had just our original bets without any come bets uh, we would have lost a lot less money during the time that um, all of our bets lost 
All right, on our next video tutorial, we're going to talk about the don't come uh, box, which basically is going to do the exact opposite of the come box. So hopefully you'll stay tuned to watch that one as well so you can learn how to bet the don't come bar. Basically, it does the exact opposite of what we just learned. So if you uh, watch this video a couple times, understand how things operate, then you'll know how the don't come bar operates, but you want to see it in action because all those times that that seven come up and lost all of our bets, we can have the exact opposite where when that seven comes up, we can win three or four bets or two or three bets uh, all when that seven comes up. So until then, have fun and enjoy playing craps. This is ID Jester signing off.